Weasel News Nightly Roundup. I am your anchor for tonight, Moira Black. Today we have the chance to take a seat with Daisy Rooney, our city's newly appointed mayor. But first, the Jackals host a highly anticipated car raffle. This is Moira Black on the scene and I'm down here at the Jackals compound where we're going to learn a little bit about the car raffle that they're holding and about the car that they that will be winning if you were to get a ticket. Alright, so I'm Cal Jackson. I'm the secretary of the club. What we do here is uh, we provide businesses such as the VU, you know, Yellow Jack, mm. to hold like community, bring the community together, and simply have fun. And I mean, you work quite closely with, uh, obviously, you work quite closely with bikes, but in addition to that, you work closely with cars in the sense that you have the the towing business as well. Do you not? Yeah, of course, we have the towing business. We uh, Keep the city so running. It certainly makes sense that you know quite a lot about cars and that you'd be holding a car raffle. Well, we've been thinking about this raffle for a while. Uh, it's just, you know, waiting for the right car to come up at the right time to, you know, put the event out there. And now's the time. So at this precise minute, we're, we've got the car, as you see, behind Excellent. me. Excellent. For you, what would, what made this the car that you wanted to to, to give away? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of a classic truck with a... With a bit of a twist, you know, these big turbos, it's pretty fast. It's, it's certainly unusual. Truck. So, in recent lights, you know, the uh, the manufacturer's got the, the details correct. And drift cars are a big thing right now. So we've gone with the flow and, you know, Excellent. got a drift car. And how much would, uh, would this car usually set you back if you were to buy this out of your own pocket? So if you were to buy this car out of your own pocket, it would, uh, it would cost you $200,000. And that's, that's quite a win, really, isn't it? H tell me, how much are the tickets uh, to win this car? So per ticket, we're, uh, we're charging $1,000 per ticket. Excellent. And um, and is there any limit to how many tickets you can have, or is it just you can come down and buy as many as you like? No, you can buy as many as you like. Okay, if you want to if you wanna try and get this car, what are people needing to do to get a hold of you, or anyone in, in regards to this? So if you, if you want to uh, get a ticket for this car, you just want to speak to any Jackal member. So pretty much anyone with a cut on the back and a patch. Excellent. And it, and the winner is announced on Wednesday at 10pm, right? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much. And so we'll leave that there then. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us and, and taking the time to, to show us the car and tell us a little bit about, about the raffle. That looks like an amazing car and it could be yours if you head down get your ticket from the jackals now now an interview with our new mayor daisy rooney who's been in office for a week right so we're here with uh with daisy who's going to just tell us a little bit about the the daily workings now that she's getting into into her role as mayor um first can you just tell me how you're feeling now that the campaign like the stressful part of the campaigning and uh and you know the asking for votes is over how are you feeling now taking the job um i'm feeling great but the uh the work's far from over it's only just begun really so i'm uh trying to hit the ground running and just uh keep the momentum there excellent how do you um how like what does your routine as mayor now look like what is your sort of what is the day of daisy like now so i will wake up and um, come into my office, check check my emails, check my uh, messages, any missed calls, things like that. Usually I'll get a call within the first five minutes and that'll set me up for the day. Um, so far it's been, it's been very busy. We've had kind of like a revolving door of people coming in for advice and uh, questions and things like that. So it's just, uh, I just stay here and wait for the people to come. So you say, um, that you've been getting like you'll get a call usually in the morning do you have a team set up with you here like a do you have like someone that's scheduled to uh to call you and to give you the briefing or anything like that not yet it's just me myself at the moment but i've been speaking to paloma swinton who was one of the other candidates and she's very interested in coming on board and being an assistant here so I've already speak, spoken to Paloma and um, I spoke to Mr. White during the campaign. We we kind of all agreed that we would help each other out no matter what the outcome. So uh, a couple of things that I'm working on at the moment, one being a uh, charity scheme. So I'm passing new legislation for 
um, charities who are able to formally be recognized by the state and they can apply for sort of discounts and uh, grants and government backing and things like so, that. So, so for example, what Ant, uh, Ant does yes, with the exactly. help in hands and such. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Paloma, because she's, yeah, she is such a compassionate person, I feel like she'd be great for helping head that up. And uh, yeah, Mr. White, you know, very business savvy. I feel like um, I haven't actually got to the business side of things just yet. <laughs> One thing at a time. The, but... the, yeah, there's a lot to work on. And obviously, mm -hmm. you know, we, we respect that as well. Yeah, definitely. So I've been trying to assemble a team of um, people from various ranks at PD. So I've had a lot of help from from them, especially Denzel Stark, uh, just getting, getting a good Denzel. group. Of, yeah, he's a great guy. And just getting a good group of people together who have got, you know, they're not all yes men. They, they maybe have their own opinions about things that need to be improved. Well, I think it, it hasn't only just come to light, but it's it's really become apparent how much it's needed is the return of DOJ. So yeah. at the moment, you know, we don't have anything. And um, I'm, I'm planning on building it from the, the ground up again. So it is yeah. going to be... And will they work here in the... Will it be a part of the city hall? Will it be a department here? Yeah, so I, I don't want to rule out the diamond uh, attorneys. They, you know, they're, they're absolutely fine working um, as private attorneys. But I do feel like, you know, there are some people who just can't afford that private attorney. So we're, we're going to need to have some sort of representation yeah. here. Excellent. But it's, uh, it's finding the right people. So if you are an aspiring um, <laughs> a lawyer or a person who, you know, likes to keep the peace and likes to keep things fair, please get in contact with me. The uh, PD committee that's currently being organized as well. And the next thing is going to be gun license legislation. But I, I feel that, you know, within my time here, I just want to have a really strong foundation for the city for any future mayors to kind of tweak and, and perfect. I mean, you could say that your your job as mayor now is is almost more important than the mayors that come before, like come next, because there will be no one that came before you know, mm -hmm. other than you. So you are really laying the groundwork and what you do in your time here is, you know, especially important. Yeah, you know? I appreciate that because the, uh, the, <laughs> the day after the announcement um, that I'd won, I, I showed up to work here. I didn't even have keys, so I was just kind of like, oh, no. okay, I'm just going to stand in the lobby and ask yeah. people if they need a hand. Um, I'd like to say be observant, be kind, be helpful. You know, the best interests of the city are not necessarily your own best interests. So always keep an open mind and just listen. So I have very much an open door policy. People don't really need to make an appointment. If I'm free, they can just walk up and ask if they can speak to me. I, I don't charge for consultations. I don't think that's, that's fair. Um, a lot of the time people just want a little bit of help with direction, you know, they're new to the city. They're asking, you know, where can I go find a job? I am. Um, I look through my contacts, you know, direct them to the right person. And um, sometimes I might want to open a business, so I'll have a little chat with them. And then I uh, work very closely with Anna from the Chamber of Commerce as well. We've got a very good, um, very good working relationship. So work very closely with her. And then uh, people who maybe, you know, they're um, not doing too well in life. They've maybe had a little bit of a brush with the law. I'll just uh, sit with them and ask them, you know, what do you want to do with your life? How can we help you get back on track? And then we'll work together to try and clear their name eventually. So those are, those are the two main ones at the moment, but we are we are in talks with somebody about opening a new charity, which is going to provide support for citizens, you know, um, if they don't really know anybody or if they're having a bit of a, a, bit of a rough time, that, that group will be there to offer them friendship and emotional support, really. I'd like, just like to say, you know, come talk to me. Uh, I don't bite. My door's always open. And anything, any questions you have, I'm sure we can work through them together. It looks like Daisy's hard at work in a new role. That's all for tonight's news roundup. Catch us next time. I've been Moira Black for Weasel News. <laughs>